Ladies and gentlemen, today we will find out if a bullet from the M1 carbine will go through an original German M40 steel helmet at 100 meters. And before we start, don't forget to slap that like button. Mow! Mow! And of course I don't care about German collectibles, so of course I'm gonna shoot up an original German steel helmet. And yes, I am using original ammo from 1943, because, you know, why not? Before I went to the firing range, I gave the helmet a little paint job so it was easier for me to see. Because I tried first to hit the helmet at 200 meters, but because of heavy side winds and the fact that I'm a terrible shot, I was not able to hit it. And by the way, the bullet drop is significant past 200 yards, that's 180 meters. So the carbine has a practical effective range about 200 yards. So then I tried at a range of 150 meters and here I managed to hit it. So as you can see, it did not penetrate. Okay, so then I tried 100 meters and I might have gotten a little bit trigger happy when I first was on target. So I put four rounds on the helmet. And as a little fun fact, I could actually hear that I was hitting the helmet on a hundred meters distance. So that is pretty cool. Three out of four rounds did go through at 100 meters, but the rounds did not go through on the back side of the helmet. I was not satisfied with only one hit at 150 meters, so I went back and tried again. I'm not sure if it went through or ricocheted off, but it pushed a huge metal piece into the helmet. As far as I can tell, none of the bullets went through at 150 meters, so it looks like there's a good chance of surviving a shot to the helmet at 150 meters with the M1 carbine. But if you're at 100 meters, you can easily say... <laughs> I'm in danger! When I was doing research on the M1 carbine, I noticed that the general opinion on the M1 carbine is pretty divided, so what is your thoughts? So thank you guys for watching.